Hello everyone and welcome to a very special reaction today. So uh, as you can see by the title and what I am watching today, I am very behind on the Marvel movies. Okay, this intro might be a little bit long because I kind of want to explain everything, but um, it was around, I think, Falcon and Winter Soldier that I kind of started to get the inkling that I might want to start watching um, these movies on YouTube and do reactions to them before I didn't really do that or if I did reactions they were on Patreon and you know because that's where I do my movie reactions however the series um, much like Falcon and Winter Soldier uh, are starting to really intertwine with the movies and you know, I got such a great response on that show because of one of the reasons, I guess, because of the fact that Sam Wilson is probably my favorite and I can't wait to see him star in a Captain America movie and I'm all really excited about that. Kind of really wanted to be able to share that with you whenever it comes out, right? So that's when I started thinking like maybe I should actually do YouTube reactions uh, with these movies. And then, you know, if you remember way back around the time that this came out, I was moving. So then I started to get behind on stuff and I was playing catch up with all of the shows that I needed to do. And then, you know, as it happens, time moves on. And then I'm like quite a few movies behind, not not a ton, but a substantial amount, I would say. So um, I'm going to finally get into these and start watching these and uh, hopefully getting these out for you guys um, whenever I can. And um, I'm really excited, okay? So I'm just gonna, that's that's about the extent of, of what I'm gonna say. Um, I'm sure in some of the Marvel series that I've been watching, maybe some stuff have, has gone over my head or something like that, that were maybe little Easter eggs to um, this movie or other movies that I have yet to watch, but um, I'm here now, I'm watching it now, and I'm very excited. I'm I'm really excited to get kind of a fresh new story with the Eternals. Um, I don't know much um, about this, obviously, um, but I I know the cast. I think I know the, the majority of the cast, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing my dear Lauren um, in this. Um, I'm also a big fan of Kumail, so you know I I'm I'm just very excited to see where they go. Um, with this story and to kind of watch something a little fresh and new with all new characters. So I'm excited about that. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm Icarus. I'm Cersei. Cersei? Did you say Cersei? Got shot. Stairs. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, 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 interesting. Wow. Oh! Question. We were instructed not to interfere in any human conflicts unless deviants are involved. How long were you two together? Five thousand years. I guess you can call that long term. He seems he left. very chill with this. Okay. But I guess he suspected back, for but... a long time. Oh my word! That's a good routine. Damn! And she also says that stealing is very, very bad. Yeah. Oh my god, they're cute. They're so cute. Are they supposed to be cute? They're cute. Okay, they're cute. Okay. Madi stampanati. You're learning their language now. Madi spenaku. Wait, what did I say? South Dakota? Okay. Hey, Jack? Oh, okay. Hey, Jack! Oh my. Goodness, is that okay? Is she dead? You gotta imagine any of them are tough to kill. It healed itself just like Ajax. I swear it almost hurt itself. You know, I was thinking um, maybe about the okay. Interesting. I can't believe you're killing some Hayek so quick like that. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Whoa. Cersei, it is your last time. Cersei, Cersei, are you okay? He said, it's almost time. Can Great. we try talking to him again? Vague. I don't know You how. know I love vague stuff. But she chose you know? Everyone is going to die. Are you okay? <laughs> what is going on? I know you're upset. I'm upset. Oh. We've trusted you for 7,000 years and look where you got us. I've watched humans destroy each other when I could stop it all in a heartbeat. Oh. Do you know what that does to someone of the centuries? Could our mission have been a mistake? Let him go. You'd have to make me. Stop. He's kind of breaking my heart a bit. You're gonna have to kill him. 
Oh no, we're not gonna do that, sweetie. We're not gonna do that. I actually really love this because I understand why they shouldn't interfere and everything, but how heavy I'll does watch it weigh? Her Let her keep her memories. One day when she attacks you, you might have to kill her. We will take that chance. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. That's cute, that's super cute. That's super cute. But I think especially for, is his name Druig? Druig? Um, it's gotta be really hard. Oh, oh, oh the look. Oh the look, oh the look. Oh, yep, yep. Welcome to the set of Shandar Dastane Icarus. I'm oh! You like the costume? We need to talk. Tell the director. Oh my god. We need to talk to Actually, when we first met, he thought I was a vampire, and he tried to stake me through the heart. I have voted it so many times. Not quite enough times. Very close, though. I'll let you know. Oh, I forget. <laughs> Ajax dead. The deviant so much. We don't know how many there are. Do we know it was a deviant? I mean, I... It makes it, oh yeah, yeah, because he, he to come with us. like absorbed her power. Ignore my skeptical ass. <laughs> I'm like, are we I'm sure? sure. Oh, that's how long the battle between Eternals and Defense has raged for. Oh my god. You think I'm moving? Oh my star? god, he's well, so extra, I and I kind of live for it. I am also. The fearsome Gilgamesh! <laughs> there we go. Hey, you guys want to try my pie? Oh my god. I'm sorry, Gil. Ajax dead. He lost her. Oh no, the pie. Oh. Thank you. Okay, I you. just have a question. Does that mean that Makari and Druid are together being adorable? They fall the soldiers in the Battle of Troy. Maybe. <laughs> That's so thoughtful. Maybe. <laughs> so now that Captain Rogers and Iron Man are both gone, who do you think is going to lead the Avengers? And I could lead them. I figured I'd be good at that. Yeah, you would. Ajax didn't even choose you to lead us. Whoa! Oh! oh. Damn! Because the human population of this planet has reached the required amount. It is time for the emergence to begin. But that's not good, right? Like, that's not good? Because, like, I mean, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. Yeah, that really doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. No, Sari. Everyone on Earth will die. The end of one life, Cersei, is the beginning of another. It's also not one life. Also, if the whole... Okay. Our you, she has helped many Celestials to emerge over millions of years. So have you. Earth was my first mission. Oh, they get their mind home. right. It is here that I built and programmed the Eternals. Wow, okay. Because your memories are erased and reset sure. after each emergence. Wow. They are stored here. I created the Deviant, Cersei. For the same purpose, I created you. I have a question. Every celestial host planet has its own predators. I first sent the Deviants to exterminate them. So intelligent life could grow. Oh, okay. But there was a flaw in their design. They just started. They evolved, became predators themselves. Wow. That's a lot of information to get all at once. I also have a question. If the end goal is for Earth to just- So you're saying we're basically fancy robots? And our past memories are stored somewhere. Sure. In space. And Arisha made the deviants. And do what? Watch TV? When I could be with the Earth's original superheroes as they try to save the world. Oh my god. Oh Fine. my god. Okay, okay, really quickly. I still don't understand if there's like all of this looking. You know, like, the, it, the world's just gonna go bloop, bloop. Like, why is it so bad that we interfere? Like, let's just make humans' lives, like, a little bit easier for a hot second. Especially with Thanos. I guess they don't know when it's gonna emerge, right? So maybe that's it. So do it, you know, 
you don't want to interfere with their progress because you don't know how long they have shirts. It's very nice. Oh, Sprite. Damn. You must not give up hope. Where is your sense of humor, King? I'm sorry, sir. Oh. Don't apologize, it's not your fault. I've just been told I've been sent on a suicide mission for the past 7,000 years, and that my entire existence is a lie. So Ooh. excuse me for not giving a shit about your plan right now. Damn! What's your point? Tinkerbell's always been in love with Peter. And it's hard for her, because she can never be with him. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, Sprite. I thought you broke it. Always bring backups. You have a very angry family, sir. Yeah, it's a big issue. There's <laughs> something else. Jesus Christ! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Of them. Get behind me! Very nice, sir. Are you mental? Hide! We need action sequences. Oh my god. Oh, I hope he doesn't die. How many cameras did you bring? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Moji's well, still okay. He didn't get really hurt. Alright. Oh! I fought that one before. It's stronger than the others. No. I'd get out of dodge. I'd get out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow. I'm obsessed with him. I am so obsessed with him. I'm obsessed with him. Yeah, get out of there. Get out of there. Get to the river. It's good he let him go. It was still cool though. Stay. Good. You're okay. Oh. His dedication to her is so sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, the guilt of it all. I do love that they're diving into all of this though. Like how, like what happens when you don't interfere? What happens when you do interfere? So our mission was never to make a peaceful or harmonious world, but to increase the population at all costs. 
Ah, okay. Is, that well, kind of answers. School for the Celestials, okay. right? Okay. It's Blake. Well, it was wrong for me to use my powers without thinking about the consequences in the first place. So now I choose to use my hands sure, to babe, fix my but, child's okay. bicycle, okay? okay? Okay. I don't use my powers anymore. Are you sure? Damn! What is this even made of? Vibranium? <laughs> but if there's a chance for us to watch Jack grow up and live a life of his own, we should take it. Yeah, I mean, otherwise, it's quite possible that, I mean, the Earth is gonna, the Earth, the Earth is gonna go bloop, it's gonna go bloop. Foreboding atmosphere fills the air. The eerie stillness chokes up our lungs. What is it doing? What has she done? Oh my god. There she is. How is in my lap? Did you end up scoring this emerald tablet? My beautiful, beautiful Kari. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cute. We're back to cute. Did you miss me? I'm sorry, what are we watching? Because this is this YouTube? new because I hate it. Five stars. I love it. I need so here's a little Celestial 101. Celestial oh my God, they're cute. powerful sorry. energy generators. Well, if the Deviants can absorb our energy, what if we can absorb each other's energy as well? If I can find a way... Ajax chose Cersei to lead us. Cersei, she just said. Forget who Ajax chose. You're the strongest. You should be making this decision. Oh. Oh, fine. fine. Just keep lying to yourself. That's right. Alrighty, my goodness. Six days ago. My oh goodness. It is kind of good that with all of these like flashbacks, they kind How of. How long do we have? She's still seven days. Heavily in the movie. Okay, so what? All right. I'm sure I'll get answers in a second, but I have questions. They must have been trapped in the ice for centuries and broke free last week and the glaciers started to melt. Why? As the Earth's core heats up for the emergence. They'll come to you. When they find your body, they'll know the deviants are back. They'll keep them busy until the emergence. I lied to everyone I cared about, but never have I doubted my purpose to serve the Celestials. <gasps> To live with the truth. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my to god. To know that one day all this would end. I exist for my family! Oh. And you are making the same mistake okay. ejected. No! Get out of here! Oh. You won't succeed against me, and I will kill every one of you if I have to. Oh, okay, okay. I'm going with you. What? If you. Stop this emergence. You are preventing so many other worlds like this one from being created. I still have faith in Arishim, but I refuse to hurt any of you for my beliefs. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord, you make him. Oh, I'm like tearing up. I'm tearing up. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Oh my god. Look. If I'm gonna get myself killed, don't but Don't kill her. Dina. Do it. <laughs> oh, was 
it not that painful? I thought it was going to be painful. Where's Drake? He's busy. The young. Way nice. Way nice! You never had to fight me. But I've always wanted to.
violence, hey, violence is never the answer, right, T? You gotta always use your brain. Uh -huh. hmm? Like you did fighting on the beach. Your dad spoke calmly and firmly to the bad guy and he had no choice but to listen to me, so. No violence. When are you guys leaving? When is that happening? That's happening soon, <laughs> right? Uh, Please visit. I'll try. When I get time off from school. Oh, wow. Listen, it's gonna be good for you to be in a human environment. Uh, social Remember when we talked about no more secrets? I have no more secrets, I promise. Actually, <gasps> I have one I want to tell you. Oh. Turns out my family history is complicated. Okay. Cersei. Cersei, what's wrong? What's going on? What's going on? Of course he was interrupted. Of course. Of course. What's going on? What's going on? Um. Oh shit. Cersei. Oh shit. I will spare them, but your memories will show if they are worthy to live. And I will return for judgment. Oh! Shit! Not judgment. Oh boy! Oh boy! So who are you? Was credit scene? There's no way there's not. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. There might be more than one, too. I'll wait. The royal prince of Titan, brother of Thanos, the knave of hearts, the great adventurer, Star Fox of Mystery Planet. Oh, what a pleasure. I'm Eros. This is Pip. Your friends are in big trouble. And we know where to find them. Oh, okay. hey. For that, Mr. Whitney. Ooh. Oh, who's okay? They will return. They will return. Good for them. Okay, okay, great. Okay, I don't entirely know what that last scene meant, but you know, sometimes that happens with me with post credit scenes. Sometimes I'm like, oh my god, and I think it's like really exciting or whatever, and then sometimes I'm just like, I don't know what that means because I, um, as I've said so many times on my channel, I have not read the comics, so <laughs> a lot of that stuff yeah, gets a little lost on me. That's okay, I'm sure we'll figure it out. I'm sure we'll figure it out together. Okay. Wow. You know what? Um, I do love, and I say this all the time, but I do love the way that, that Marvel does, I think, a very decent job of within every movie or show that they're kind of putting out, that there's a very different vibe. This felt very different. It was a bigger cast, which um, I've always stated that I really like, especially if it's done well. And I thought that this was done pretty good with balancing all of the different characters and everything like that. I love that a lot. Um, and okay, I don't even know where to begin. There's just so much. You know what I loved about this is that as much as they all are Eternals and kind of, you know, on paper in the beginning of this really had like one sole mission or whatever, I actually truly love the fact that everybody had kind of different um, struggles with the world, struggles with guilt, struggles with whether or not to interfere and, um, you know, they all seemed very different when it came to that, and, and some of it was influenced by what they could do. Um, some of it is is just truly how they feel would be would be better. And I really liked that um, a lot. Oh my god, I don't even know. Um, there's a lot. There is a lot to talk about. Okay. You know, um, I think that it was kind of really interesting the difference between what you know Icarus was thinking and then obviously what you know um Ajax is that her name um or Circe and and kind of um others were sort of thinking about you know what what should be done what is the greater good 
should they fulfill their their mission or um, even if they were kind of not really aware of what that mission truly was, um, most of them anyway, you know. Um, and I really liked that there there really were two two different perspectives there. Um, and how each of their own experiences sort of influenced the decisions that they made. You know, Sprite, I think also, you know, being having a lot of love and care for Icarus as well. But, you know, what she was sort of saying, it, it sort of, you know, um, it made sense why she was doing what she was doing. Um, you know, it's easy when you're watching this to kind of be like, well, sure, we don't want Earth to explode. Pretty baseline of, you know, which side you really want to be on and stuff like that. But um, I did like that it wasn't so black and white. I mean, sure, I feel like the majority of the audience is going to sway towards let's not have, you know, the Earth explode. And that there's probably, you know, just sacrificing all of this life to bring about a celestial, like, uh, you know, the moral, it's the bit of a moral gray area there, gotta say. Um, but it wasn't completely, like, I could see where Icarus was coming from. That makes sense. Didn't agree. And of course, I mean, he it was it had to have been very hard for him to even live with himself after everything sort of went down because, you know, he couldn't bring himself to hurt um, Cersei. Um, and he killed their leader. He, you know, like he can't really return from that. Very dramatic flying into the sun, I have to say. Very, he really brought the drama at the end. Um, and you know, honestly, sometimes I live for that, so. Um, but I really loved the, all of the, the different characters and the, how, I actually think they did a phenomenal job of showcasing, um, how that them just as Eternals can evolve differently or, you know, um, oh, I loved the focus on whether we should interfere. Um, there's something about Druig and what he was struggling with. And it's an interesting, I love focusing on this stuff because it's interesting. When he mind controls people and tells them to stop fighting or, I don't know if he tells them or if he just, you know what I mean. That takes away their free will, right? So is it really a good thing? You know, or are we supposed to just let them? But he, he knows he can do something about it and prevent people from being killed. So how much of a struggle does he feel specifically for, you know, not interfering? And I loved that. I loved the focus on that and what he was really going through himself um, because of his specific power that he had. Um, and I, I mean, I just have to say, Druig and Makari were the, um, they stole the show for me, but we'll get to that in a little bit, but I liked that. And then we see, um, Fastos, Fastos, is that his name? I would try to be, um, trying to get their names right. Um, I was really trying to pay attention the whole movie and be like... Um, oh my god, I think I'm forgetting Kumail's character's name. Shit. Okay, well, like to, you know who I mean if I say Kumail. Um, but uh, I... It, how Fastos really wanted to to interfere and and sort of um in in the sense of of give them more technology and stuff like that and how that sort of ended at the end of the, all of that i mean oh my goodness i mean that was just so crazy to see how he ended up over all of that time as well i really loved 
the focus on on that stuff and honestly if this was like a series and not just a movie I feel like we could have focused on th that stuff a little bit more but I think it's really important that in this introductory movie about who they are we're kind of talking about these things why didn't they interfere with with stuff with Thanos why didn't they interfere with a, a bunch of different things um, I liked that we saw Sprite's um, uh, journey and and why was she put in into you know obviously they all were you know people who can't age but she is a, a child um, or a young woman um, and and what does that sort of um, what struggles has she gone through and I, I really love the the focus on all of that um, and then we have the things going on with um, Thena which that was crazy and it was a really interesting explanation of like the memories and things starting to crack a little bit and um, you know I, I I loved that and then Gilgamesh's um, you know devotion to her that was really really sweet and wonderful um, to see and I was I'm so upset that he didn't make it I, I really liked him I liked him a lot I thought he was wonderful um, and I don't even know where we go from from here it, there's a lot of um, man you got to think that like even just the the relationships between Athena and Gilgamesh or, or um, you know Icarus and, and, and Cersei they, they were they, they had to be so strong um, after like after all of this time I'm really interested to see where this is going to go. I thought there was going to be a little bit more of a love triangle with Cersei, but they're, they're really, uh, not really. Um, I think they handled it pretty well, but, you know, they kept Kit Harrington sort of off a little bit for the majority of the movie so that there could be a focus on this relationship that is sort of fractured and uh, sort of, you know, um, Obviously, they're on different pages with a lot of stuff, but um, I kind of liked that how they they handled that. I feel bad. I feel bad though, you know, because I assume. Okay, are we assuming that Icarus he's he died, right? You don't fly into this. I mean, I don't know. I don't know the physiology of an eternal that I can. I don't know. I don't know. We flew into the sun. I don't think it's good. I feel like he's gone at that point, but maybe, I don't know, we didn't see, oh, I don't know, anyway, uh, my one random comment, no, I can't say that, never mind, it would be spoilers for Game of Thrones, but I was gonna stip, I was gonna make a parallel, of it. anyway, never mind, um, in case you haven't seen it, I just, never mind, okay, um, so I really liked, uh, I loved that there was a little bit of um, humor. I wouldn't say that there was a, like as much humor as I feel like a typical Marvel movie had, but Camille, and I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, why can I not? I literally, while I was um, like waiting for the post credit scenes, I was like saying the names in my head and I lost it. I lost it, it's gone, it's gone, I lost it. Um, but Kumail, I think he added a little bit of humor and, um, and his little, his valet, so funny. I, I loved that um, little bit in it. And, and it, it's nice. It, it kind of breaks it up a little bit. And I really, really enjoyed that. Um, and then, of, of course, okay, we're going to end. We're going to end on Druig and Makari because, oh my goodness, they were just delightful. I cannot even express how delightful. And the chemistry on point because it was like one scene that lasted I don't know what like five seconds ten seconds I don't even know no it wasn't it was longer than that but it, you know what I mean it was a short scene and I was already like oh, they're amazing <laughs> they're so cute they really they really really are and um I don't just think that they're so adorable and I just wanted to say that they're really adorable they're really adorable and I need to say this okay Makari, I believe that's how you say her name. That fight scene with Icarus, okay, that was everything. 
that was everything. You know, sometimes when it's like the super speed type of person, um, sometimes it, they don't... Sometimes it doesn't kill it in, in regards to um, fight scenes and, you know, sometimes it's just like, oh, a punch comes out of nowhere, but that's pretty much like the extent of it. You know what I mean? She was kicking his ass. I mean, and then they they were really inventive with what she was doing next. And she was just, it, you can't even, I feel like at, the, at that point, you know, how do you even fight back? And eventually he, he did, but like, it took him a hot second. She beat his ass for a while. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, I truly, truly um, loved uh, that whole fight scene. I thought it was really, really well done. And I think that they did a really good job of, of showcasing everybody's powers and, and everything like that. And um, it was wonderful. But that was really great. And I need to give props to that because a lot of times the like super fast character is not like the most lethal a lot of the time, but man, send her out first and you all can be back up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Jeez. Um, but amazing. I loved her connection with Druig and it was just, I love whenever that happens where there's a character or a couple of characters in a relationship or, or whatever that are so, you know, not that they're not on screen or not main characters, but they're just not as prevalent as some of the others. But man, your attention just goes right, right to them. And that's how I felt with them. I was just like, oh, you guys are lovely. And I really, really love that. I love that so, so much. And I thought it was wonderful. Anyway, um, I think that is about it for my thoughts with this. I thought it was amazing. Um, and it's different. It's definitely different. I I don't actually know a ton of the reception of how people felt about this, um, but it, it you know I can see maybe some people don't don't love it as much as maybe some of the other um, Marvel films. But I really liked it. I love the bigger cast. I love the moral gray area of it all. That there was not just with you know do we let the celestial be born? That's there's that. But just do we interfere and and all of that? And um, I guess my and, and my questions got um, answered by the way because when they were first laying down the fact that like oh it's actually a celestial is going to be born and the whole earth is going to be destroyed I was just like then why are we like so against interfering? But they did answer that question, so I feel better about that as well because <laughs> I was like. Real, if the if it's just gonna blow up anyway, why do we care so much? But it made sense that for the celestial to be, it, it needed the the life of it and and more people and advancement and, and all of that. And I got it. I got it at the end. But that was my. Did anybody else have a very similar like first gut reaction with that? It's like why are we caring so much? <laughs> They're just gonna blow up anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, I really thought it was great. I thought the performances were wonderful and um, yeah, just adored it. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to sort of get into um, some more Marvel movies and I hope that you guys are excited as well. <sighs> All right. I think that is about it. If you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.